Hey, it's the Terminion Hero here, and we're playing some more of the second reality project Reloaded. And we're headed to Spring Yard Zone, a level new to this version of the game. Let's go. There you go, Spring Yard Zone. Now, since this level is new, that means it's not gonna be quite as vanilla as the rest of the levels in this hack. Specifically, it's got these bouncy blocks. This just would not have been possible in the original Second Reality Project. I wanna hit that thwomp, darn it. Whatever. Anyways, I do want to see what's, like, up above. Actually, this is probably the secret exit, isn't it? I probably want you to go forward and then back. Yeah, here's a P-switch. Okay, so we're gonna ignore that for now. Yeah, let's just pretend we never went up there. Because we're not supposed to be up there yet. Well, we see what we would be using it for, because there was a key up above that block. Yeah, this is where they want you to turn around. There we go, we're not taking any shortcuts, we're doing this the right way. With save states, of course. Save states and rewinds. Anyways, it should be right down here where we can get the key. There we go. It's so weird having it transition straight from... Sonic music to the Mario P-Switch music. Ah! It says TSRPR up here, if I can get the camera to go up. Oh my gosh! Please, there we go, TSRPR. The second reality project reloaded. Oh. I needed to get over here on a time limit. I didn't realize I was gonna still need the switch to be active. There we go. And that's our way out of here, but we of course need to still do the normal exit here. So yeah, while we could just jump into the World 4 castle, we're not doing that. Not yet. First we do Spring Yard Zone, and then we do the rest of World 3. Ow. And then we do World 4. Then we can do the World 4 Castle. I was doing some nice hop in there. Some dive bomb hopping. Alright, let me up. TSRPR, the second reality project reloaded. Okay. Can I spin jump off these? Yeah, that keeps my spin jump. And I can't change it to a normal jump now. Ah! That changes it to a normal jump, whether I want it to or not. And there's FBI up there. And this looks like the end. Yep, with a 29 there. And 
that'll be it for the second reality for now. Let's head on back. And do the other half of World 3. No, this is the wrong way. Get back up there. Here we go, Lotus Volcano, which was called Volcano Castle in the original game. And it was in the place of Vanilla Secret 1. But Volcano Castle... Um... Yeah, that's what the actual castle here is now called, that used to be called Lava Castle. The way they change some of these names can get kind of confusing sometimes, giving names of levels to other levels. Anyways, let's go in. Trying to navigate my Microsoft Word file while also playing the game can be a bit much sometimes. So I see a coin up there. What does that mean? It means something is afoot, and maybe even a whole leg. Okay. I mean, if we fly up here, we get a dragon coin and a one-up. That's cool, I guess. Are we meant to go on the top of the level? I'm gonna explore up here a little bit. Just to satiate my curiosity. But if there's nothing up here... Oh, look what's up here. I'm gonna keep going for just a little bit. Just to make sure that there's nothing else. There might not be anything else. Now there's nothing else. Alright, rewind back to the secret exit. That was too far. Here we go. So that brings us way over here. This is the level we're gonna go to next, but first we gotta get the normal exit here. Which looks like it'll connect back to somewhere we've already been. With this coin up there, I thought for sure there would be like some invisible blocks to get us up here, but I guess you really do just have to fly. Yeah. Anyways, that's dragon coin number one. Oh, I tried to do the, the jump grab like that. I don't actually know if I did that successfully there, because I was still technically standing on the other block. But whatever. Ooh, looked like there was a dragon coin down there. Ah! I thought I successfully avoided that, but I did not. I'm not hitting you this time. Okay, looks like there's a little area in here that's surrounded by coins, so if we get a P-switch, maybe there's a hidden door here or something? I kind of doubt it, but it seems like what that could potentially be marking. Ah! You jerk! Oh, you jerk! That reminds me of Cat Mario, and I don't mean the power-up in 3D World. I mean the game. Cat Mario, Siobhan action. I've done a Let's Play of that game too. The first one out of four. I'm not sure I'm gonna go on to the rest. I specifically played the first one because I think it's better than the second one. Anyways, we've got some ninja hop in here. So that's pretty cool. We're gonna get a life off of this. Just 
gonna take you out quick. So you're not bothering me. Okay, well, this is interesting. First, I'm gonna try to fly up over here. Okay, that's nothing. I was curious, though. Now we're gonna go down here and... Not get a mushroom. There we go. There's our dragon coin. Where's our last one? There should be one more. I hope it's ahead of us. Otherwise, that would be a bit problematic. Got these crazy springs. You want to jump on the end of them. That sign signifies we're close to the end. But there is a dragon coin still, thank you. And that's that. This'll get us another bonus, and it should connect this path back to the other path. Are we getting a fire flower or a feather this time? It's a feather. Cool. Alright, four up. And that's that. Okay, moving on, our next level is Ghost Cave, which is the same name that it had in the original version. And it was in the place of Vanilla Ghost House in the original game. Which I have labeled as VGH, Vanilla Ghost House. Uh, yeah, VGH for Vanilla Ghost House, but there's another VGH level. Because there's also, you know, Valley Ghost House. I have both level levels labeled as VGH. I think there's one other level, or like one other pair of levels that's like that. Anyways, we got a dragon coin already. Yeah, like the Vanilla Fortress and Valley Fortress or something like that. I don't know, but anyways, there's probably nothing down here. Oh. You know, I probably would have been given a clue about that if I would have went forward. Yeah, because I could see that down there. But this game doesn't have a secret exit, so whatever's down here is not related to a secret exit. It is a dragon coin. And we needed to go down here because we needed to hit this switch. What do you know? Ah! Well, I did defeat that guy, but I also got hurt in the process. So what's up with these pipes? Can I actually go in one? I doubt it, just based on how they're scattered all over the place. FPI usually doesn't hide things in that way. I'm gonna check down here, though. No, FPI doesn't usually hide things in that way. And now we have the bubbles! Oh, and we have this. I see what's going on here. So sorry to interrupt. Proceed. So I don't know what's up there. I don't really see a good way up there unless there's invisible blocks here, which there are. 
Oh, that's another switch, so we probably needed to hit that. Probably. Yes, we did. Unless we could, like, get into one of those pipes. But it doesn't really look like it. Okay, but we need to go into a pipe here in order to continue. Where on earth are we? If we can go into a pipe, it's gonna be obvious, because, like, we're at the end of a path. So it's either this one, or it was gonna be the tall yellow one. Now we can hit the switch and keep on going. So, new territory. There's one of our last two dragon coins. As time is running out. Get out of there, boo. I know you're there. No! You can't do that to me! And there's our last dragon coin. Now we just need to get to the end, which... We're out of the cave, so we're probably at the end. Yeah. Forty. That was super close. Still haven't got that fifty yet. But I'll get it. I'll get it. Alright, and what is next here? Not this. This is World 4, and we're gonna do the normal route through World 4 before we do this alternate route. This is not the way to World 4. I mean, technically it's a way to part of World 4, but that would be the end of World 4. I don't want that right now. We're going through the pipe. So yeah, our next level is gonna be Ice Bomb Bridge. Starting off World 4. Oh, of course Ice Bomb Bridge is slippery. How could it not be with a name like that? Still caught me off guard, though. Oh my gosh, there's so much bullet hell. kind of disappointed in myself for when we were playing, you know, the normal version of the second Reality Project 2, and we went into some caves that were literally hell, and there was a level called Bombs and Bullets, and while I did mention Don Maku, I didn't actually make a bullet hell pun. I'm so disappointed in myself. Okay, come on. Ice and timing is not a good thing. These stupid bouncy enemies as I'm jumping to this slippery hill. Oh my gosh, what did I even bounce off of? Get out of here! Ugh! Oh no, that was in the- yeah, that's too late. Okay, get out of here. Yoshi, please save me. You will help me in my time of need when I accidentally slip off into a pit. Y no, I'm not gonna get rid of you that easy. I'm, I'm never gonna give you up, Yoshi. Never gonna give you up. Never gonna let you down. 
Oh no, I, that's not how it goes. That's how the actual song goes. No! Okay, whatever. For those that aren't familiar with the Rick Astley jokes on my Mario ROM hack videos, it's, uh, never gonna give you up, never gonna drop you down, never gonna jump around and desert you, never gonna make you cry, never gonna say goodbye, never gonna tell a lie, and hurt you, and that's the moment when you drop him in a pit. This started on Super Demo World, the legend continues in the Ice World. And it's been an ongoing joke on this channel ever since. Okay, we got all the dragon coins and I see the keyhole. And I assume the key is just down below here. As far as how to get there, I don't really know. It looks like a pipe is supposed to lead there. But we're probably like at the end of the level anyways, yeah. So we'll get that secret exit in a second. I just need to test the pipes when I go through next time. And it's probably gonna be a pipe near the end. But since I've basically done this whole level, I can pretty much just, uh, you know, fly through this whole thing now. Assuming that the terrain allows it. There we go. This is what I want. Hello. That pipe was in an odd position, but there doesn't appear to be any way up there. Okay, we'll just ignore it for now. <laughs> okay, we gotta stop. <laughs> no! Okay. Don't you dare. Alright, this is good. Now, what pipe do I need to go into? Is it this one? I feel like it's probably that one. But I have bullet hell to dodge. Come on. No! Lakitu, why? Okay, it's not that one. Oh, we've gone too far. Well, which pipe was it? Hmm. Well, it must be back the way we came. Was it up there? Is it the big purple pipe? No, it was not. Well, then what pipe was it? It wasn't actually the one way up there, was it? Alright, well, we're back at the start of the level. I didn't mean to go all the way back. But that's just how it turned out. There's no way they would want me to fly into that pipe, though, so if it is that pipe, there's gotta be a better way to get in there. Oh, come on. There's so much chaos in this level. Please. Oh my 
my gosh, so much chaos. This game is gonna give me a chaos complex. Literally. You'll get that joke later. I mean, can we just jump up there with Yoshi? I mean, I seem to be hitting the pipe, even though I can't really see it. Is it just the middle pipe? Yes, it is. I was suspicious of that one, but I never really found a good opportunity to check it. Amidst all the flying rewinds and all that stuff. Okay, so we could go up here. But that's not where we want to go. We want to go this way. See ya, Yoshi. Hope I don't need ya. Alright, this should be where we want to go. There's our key. And our keyhole is above us. There we go. Yeah, so I... I said that this was Ice Bomb Bridge. I never said what it was called before or where it was. Um, this was... Ice Bomb Bridge used to be called bob -omb Bridge, and it was where Cheese Bridge area was in Super Mario World. Anyways... Our next level is this one, Snide Tide, which was called Aggressive Water in the original game. And it was where Soda Lake was in the Super Mario World map. So the gimmick of this one is the water changing its height both on a timer as well as to where you move. We got a dragon coin there already. And now the water level's going up. But there's a pipe down here. This goes somewhere. What is this? Just a way to use a star to get one-ups? Probably. That's nice. I'm almost full on one-ups. There is a dragon coin here. As well as one here. Alright, that's cool and all, but I don't want to miss stuff. But it looks like all we missed was just... Uh, was this the pipe we went down just a second ago? Yes, it was. Okay. So we're good to continue on. Now the water's gonna go all the way down here. So we've gotta be a bit more careful with our swimming. Oh, hey, look, another dragon coin. Dropped that platform right out of the sky. Anyways, this is some nice music I just want to point out. Moving on, though, uh, we do have all the dragon coins. I don't really know when that happened. But it happened. And there's 29 more points. So yeah, our next level is Sumo Symphony. 
but we're gonna be doing that in the next video, along with probably the rest of World 4. So yeah, I'm the Terminian Hero, and I will see you then.